Are you a streamer that's tired of your boring, disgusting stream design, but you don't want to spend any gosh darn money? Lucky for you, in this video, I'll show you this new overlay website that I found that you can use to upgrade your stream for free. So let's check it out. The website is called overlays.uno, and I'll leave it linked in the description down below so you can follow along at home. And luckily, they were nice enough to sponsor this video so I can show you guys how to use it. So let's do our little trick. Ready? One, two, three. There, that's better. But literally it's super easy once you're on the website following that link, just scroll down and see they got a bunch of different categories. They got one for sports, which includes a bunch of different leaderboards and scoring. They have a bunch of different gaming ones for esports, overlays, podcasts with social pop-ups, money effects, pretty much a bunch of unique things that you don't really see on other overlay platforms. And yes, you can use all these for free. I've already went ahead and scrolled through and picked out a bunch of my favorites that I think are gonna benefit you guys as streamers the most. And I'll show you how to set them up. So once you've made your account, all you have to do is go to library here and you'll be able to see all of the different overlays that you can use then when you find something you like all you have to do is click on it then you're going to click add to my overlay so click that button and it's going to be added to your overlays collection which you can then find in the left hand side here so simply click that and you can see i have my collection of overlays here and a really cool thing is that if you don't see a certain overlay already in their library the devs are actually really nice to where you can ask them to add one all you have to do is just join their discord server and then post the idea or request that you have because they're always looking to add more overlays for their users. They have a really nice selection of countdown timers and starting soon screens. So I'm going to start with this one right here. It's a full screen countdown glide. You can get the same one if you want. We're going to hit the three dots here, and then we're going to hit open. Now you can obviously trigger the overlay on and off with this button here. And this is where we're going to set your countdown timer. So if you want to have, let's say a four minute or three minute countdown timer, you can adjust everything here. And then when you're ready to hit it, you'll hit play and it'll start the countdown. And then you can also set your countdown end message for when it actually reaches zero. So you can adjust those settings there, but you can move to the customize tab where you can change the color, you can change the going live in, so the title. So if we want to call this stream starting in blank, we can change that text up there. We just got to click off of it and it will update it there. You can also change the timer format. You can add an image. You can change the layout. So for example, if we want to change this color from purple to let's say like a pink, I feel like that's kind of cool. Then we can go to the settings and you can adjust more settings here. Like, like oh my God, no, dark theme. You can't do, just don't touch that, okay? We have more settings here if you'd like. So now we can go back to control. So if we look in the top right corner, this little TV, this is what we're going to copy into OBS Studio, Streamlabs, Meld, whatever you want to use a browser source to display to your viewers. And then next to that, we have this controller and that's going to be how we're going to control all of this. So if you don't want to have this website open every time, we can actually use this controller and put it in OBS Studio as a doc so we can control it directly from OBS. Or we can scan the QR code in the top right corner next to it with our phone. So literally you'll have all the settings on your phone. And then the little key next to that is going to be the token that you need for the Stream Deck plugin. All you got to do is download and install it and then paste the actions in. So you have plenty of different options, but we're going to start easy with this little TV button. Click that and we're going to open up OBS Studio or whatever you're using. We're going to add a new source. This one's a starting soon scene. So we're going to go into that source and add a new browser source. I'm going to call it Glide Countdown and then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to paste in that URL we just copied, hit OK. And then now you'll be able to see we have our beautiful stream starting in countdown timer. And if you want to make it bigger, you can adjust the sides. I honestly just like to right click and then go to transform and then go to fit to screen. And now we have it fit to the screen. As you can see there, it ended and we have that little countdown message. If you want to have a message, if not, you can just erase it. And you would do so by literally just turning it off. So now let's reset and play it again so I can show you guys how to import that doc. So if you want to have these controls in OBS Studio or on your phone, all you have to do is hover over this little game controller, click on it for OBS and scan the QR code for your phone. Then once you're in OBS Studio, you're going to go to docs and custom browse docs. We're going to go to a new one. We'll call this glide control. And then we're going to paste in the new URL, hit apply and close. Then we're going to have this drag to whatever part of the screen you're going to want it on. I'm going to have it, let's say on the left side. And now we have all of the different settings that we had on the website directly in OBS. So we can adjust the timer if we need to get more time. If we want to pause it, reset. If we want to have literally any customization options, all of it's done within your phone on the website or as a doc. So you have so many different choices to pick from. Another overlay that I found that'll be useful for streamers is this nice snow effect since the holidays are right around the corner. They also have a bunch of other effects, but the snow one I feel like could be cool. All you gotta do is hover over it, click the three dots right here and hit open. You'll be brought to the same page, though honestly, you don't really need this as a dock or on your phone since you're really not changing too much stuff. You can have the speed set to fast, slow, amount heavy, light, medium. You don't really have to change too much. So once you're done doing that, just click the little TV and you'll get that output URL, aka that browser source. Then you can go to your just chatting scene and we're gonna click a new source, browser source. I'm going to call this one snow. Hit OK. We're going to paste this in, except I'm going to change the width to 1920 by 1080. 
so it'll fit the whole screen hit okay we're gonna make sure it's above the webcam which it is and now we got this beautiful snow effect for the holidays fun for the whole family literally took like 30 seconds tops so let's check out a couple more as a streamer promoting your other socials is really important because you want to grow on more discoverable platforms so the social loop lower third sociable is pretty good so I'm gonna click on those dots hit open then you can see under the properties they have so many different things so if you want to display your discord you can or your email or anything like that we'll just keep it really simple for Instagram I'm just gonna put my Instagram username and then my message could be like follow me on IG and then we'll do the same thing for TikTok, and then we'll do the same thing for YouTube and then I'm gonna erase all the other stuff you can already see the changes that have been made on here so if you want you can go to customize and change the autoplay you can change the display duration for autoplay I would recommend maybe having it like every five or ten minutes but I'm gonna leave it on forever so that way it's constantly going on the screen just for display purposes for this video but if I were you I'd probably do like five or ten minutes and then display duration maybe five seconds each and then other than that we're good to go so click that little TV button and let's go to OBS we'll do it on the just chatting screen so we'll hit plus browser we'll call it socials hit OK paste in that new URL hit OK again and now we're gonna drag this over to the bottom left corner you can see it right about there I'm gonna maybe make it a little bit larger so maybe about there would be good now we got a nice holiday theme just chatting scene with social shout outs on our stream for free another one that I thought was really neat is this talking points panel axis so we'll do the same thing we'll open that I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with co-working streams I just found out about them but this could be a really useful feature for that because basically you have like a to-do list or a task list which you could also use for other streams so all you got to do is pick your colors here as well as where you want it on the screen I'll choose left talking points we'll change local news to to-do list and then for the topics we'll just have everything on our to-do list and this is really great way for people who weren't able to show up at the beginning of stream but joined halfway to see what you guys are doing and what's been done so if you're a co-working stream you could literally put your to-do list here or if you're playing Fortnite, you could do get 10 kills get two wins get to level 50 and then we'll just get rid of the other two and then we'll change the topic count from five to three because we only have three then from here we'll just click the little TV we'll just say this is our gaming scene we're gonna add another browser source we'll call it list hit okay paste the new URL hit okay again I'm gonna make that larger now we got our to-do list right there but really there's over 551 results as of making this video so there's so many different things for you to get your hands on completely free and like I said if they don't have it then just join their discord and put in a request now while the overlays are free they have to pay their developers somehow which is where they have their optional upgrade where for three dollars a month literally the price of a chicken sandwich or less you can upgrade to get benefits such as more image storage add free experience and be able to edit certain presets but once again this is completely optional the overlays are indeed free so if you want to check out overlays.uno the link is at the top of the description below and if you want to keep making your stream look extra professional then you should watch this video to the side of me I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in that video my name's Cody and I will see you in the next one